Alright guys, Mark back here today. Uh, going to go over my wife and I's emergency preparedness bug out style bag. Um, this was set up for uh, tornadoes, major environmental things um, in case we need to leave our home. Uh, things we can have to uh, sustain life basically. Uh, it's nowhere near complete. I plan on getting a bigger bag changing things around, taking things out, putting things in. Uh, please feel free to comment below what you think needs to be added, what you think needs to be taken out. Uh, start off with uh, a good set of boots. Uh, these are mine. Received these from an army buddy. Uh, high quality boots. These are Garmots. Garmots. Yes. Uh, good quality set of boots. Can't go wrong with those. Uh, don't have a set for my wife yet. Working on getting those here eventually. So good set of boots is always good. The bag itself, this is a Fieldline Walmart brand uh, backpack. I bought this for hunting years ago and just don't carry it anymore for hunting. So, go over the bag, obviously, uh, shot cord here in the front in case you need to add stuff, a uh, jacket or something, shove it in there. First pocket, got a set of binoculars. Uh, you never know when you need to see what's up ahead, so good set of binoculars. Uh, survival ponchos, got three of them, and then a climbing carabiner with an extra little just clip to hook things up to or whatnot. That's it in that pocket. Next one, got caught up in those up there. Let me fold those open. We've got two tourniquets. These are the rat style tourniquets. These are generic brands, but rat style. Always good to have tourniquets. Sewing kits. Uh, latex gloves. Kleenexes. This is a small fishing kit that I got out of the uh, Iraq Veteran 8888 uh, Survival Man Can. Uh, small little light. It's a blue light. Uh, just in case you need to look around, you can hook it on your hat. Um, Hook it on whatever. Got a carabiner here in case you want to hook it on a piece of string. So, contact solution. I wear contacts. Got to have that stuff. Hot hands. Can't go wrong with hot hands. It's cold here in Indiana sometimes. Eating tool from CRKT. Some wet ones. Some little light load towels. They're like 12 by 24 little towels that you add water to them and they go full, full length. Uh, a little preparation age sample pack. I got that in the mail. I just threw it in there. You never know. So, just threw that in there. Extra batteries for our headlamps. And you'll see those headlamps here in a little bit. Uh, some more wet ones here. Uh, dental floss. Uh, Neosporin to go. Some chapstick. And some super glue down in there. And then we've got... I threw this in here. I don't know why. I just kind of did. It's a farrer's tool clean out a horse's hoof, uh, trim their hooves. It's a nice little, decent little blade. Uh, you never know what you can use it for, so I just threw it in there. Thermometer, we have kids. Uh, it's always helpful to have a thermometer with you in case they get sick, so I just threw that in there. It's a backup one, so. Uh, ink pen Sharpie, I've got another ink pen and Sharpie. I've got redundant of those. Uh, a pencil, carpenter's pencil. Mora knife, light my fire knife. Nice little Mora knife, can't go wrong with those. Uh, this is the light my fire version, it comes with a fire steel, so you've got some way to start a fire if you need to. And then in here I have a solar charger, uh, it's an e boot solar charger, decent quality solar charger, fully charged here. Double click and you get a light, shut her down. Can't go wrong with that. I carry phone cords and stuff like that with my in my uh, everyday carry bag or with me usually, so I don't have any in here at this time. Main compartment. And the best thing about this is it opens all the way up. So we'll get that all the way out there. First thing we see, two trash bags. These are 60 gallon heavy mill trash bags. Can't go wrong with having those. You can use those as shelter. Fill them with leaves, lay down on the ground with them, whatever you gotta do. Uh, Whatever you can do with them. So, got those. Nice metal pot. This is an old metal pot. If I need to cook something, 
put it over a fire. I don't care if it gets ruined. It's not a big deal. So, Ball cap. Keep the sun off your eyes. Keep your head warm. Whatever. This is an old Glock hat that obviously has been through a lot. So I just threw it in here. First thing we've got. Uh, notepad. Playing cards. Another sewing kit. I need to take one of those out put it in another area. Um, but got that. We've got our headlamps. Two little headlamps. Uh, one for my wife. One for me. Paracord with uh, a spool tool and lighter. If you haven't seen the spool tools, they're pretty cool. They hold the paracord, hold the lighter, and they've got a little cutter on the side here to cut the paracord with. Extra set of batteries for another flashlight you'll see here in a minute. Uh, soap. This is uh, survival soap from the IREC Veteran 88 Survival Man can. Um, can't go wrong with that. Got to clean yourself. Sponge to clean up pots. SAS Survival Guide. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, good little book. Um, Nalgene bottle. Can't go wrong with that. And cup. You can coat this over the fire as well if you need to. But since there's two of us, I've got the big pot and then we can eat out of this. Always got to have a way to carry your water too. Another little bottle to carry water in. Uh, you can see all my food here. Uh, these are little like MRE style things that I put together. We've got granola bars, uh, peanut butter crackers, energy drink mixes, a spoon. Uh, what's inside these is these Prego Ready Meals. They're fully cooked. You microwave them for like 60 seconds and they're ready to go. So obviously you won't have a microwave with you, but you can put it over fire. Heat it up so you have a hot meal. If you don't have a fire, it's still fully cooked and you can still eat it. So uh, something to keep you keep you going if you need food. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of these in here. So got six of those meals. Uh, full day worth of meals, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner if you count that uh, for my wife and I. Uh, Floss tools, you can't go wrong with having those and keeping your teeth clean. These are some oatmeal bars, kind bars, uh, cliff bars, extra little snacks to keep us going. Some extra little scraps. Beef jerky, can't go wrong with that. Little fire kit, I've got uh, lighter, boat, lifeboat matches, fire steel and flint, candles, matches, and cotton balls and Vaseline right there. Some more drink mixes and stuff uh, to help keep you going so you're not just drinking straight water. Uh, bandana, can't go wrong with that. In here I've got a nice little pocket knife and then another flashlight which needs the batteries because it's dead. So I just throw those in there. And then Two survival emergency blankets and then a shrade knife. Uh, this comes with a fire steel as well and its own little sharpening stone. Uh, so you have those with you. Put that back in here. And then the shrade knife itself. Not sure the model number, but high quality knife. Good thick tine on it. I uh, can't go wrong with a good trade knife. Uh, done some work with this. Nice heavy knife. Can't go wrong. So, all right, that is my wife and I's emergency bug out kit, whatever you want to call it, um, for natural disasters, things like that. If you have any questions, comments, uh, things I need to take out, things I need to add in, if you like my little meals I made, let me know. Uh, suggestions, I mean, I'll take it all. Uh, leave your comments below. Talk to you guys later.